our size on this um, and I'll actually um, attach it as, as an appendix. Um, we actually use these images to assess the proposals that are brought forward um, and referred to. Uh, we actually prefer this, we prefer this to as the ethic challenge documents. This allows officers to assess the proposal to achieve the best outcome for the asset. I'll just give you um, one example. Um, it could be you know, a piece of a wasteland which has no current benefit to the council, but it could be a number of, of options available um, depending on the size, location and value. It could be housing, it could be retail, it could be community use, it could be extra care, or it could be a mix of options. What we actually do with this um, template is actually have a look at what financial benefits, how it actually fits into the uh, world plan, growth and everything else, and um, actually assess um, the actual piece of land under discussion. Um, yeah, I'll actually put it through, through that, um, that template. What we are proposing to do is that we actually share this with um, ward uh, members and portfolio holders, and also specific men member interest groups, who think Council Williams uh, particularly would like and the historic uh, nature of the um, of the asset. So that is one of the proposals of the report. Um, in 3.4, I've just mentioned what actually happens now if a piece of land or a property um, is up for either disposal, change of use, or just a direct sale. Um, we normally go through the delegated authority route, um, at which Councillor George Davis does actually consult with board members on the proposals that are actually being um, brought forward. So but I'm just reiterating what happens now. And then, um, obviously, for the cabinet and um, key decisions as well. So there's two, there's two work decision processes. Um, I think 3.5, I know um, Councillor Abbey and Councillor Beach and Councillor Blakely mentioned it at the, uh, at the meeting and it was around the di uh, discussions around a couple of the area reviews that we had mentioned. Um, I know I'd given you as an example Morden and Bevington and it was really to actually ascertain what discussions and at what point that we needed to engage um, with members. And um, I think we have acknowledged that we do need to let you know, obviously, as soon as possible, when a large area is up for review for us to actually have an initial conversation with you. Um, obviously, it's the actual level of uh, consultation will vary depending on, on the actual project. And of course, this sort of takes into account any statutory consultation which may actually follow. Um, so I've just summarised it there in 3.3.6 chair. Um, I've just outlined in terms of what the existing arrangements are in terms of the delegation and in terms of the key decisions which will be taken for cabinet. I've just outlined what we would to do in terms of the area reviews or engaging with, with members, we did actually bring a larger area review for consideration for you and I would imagine it would be probably a group of maybe six to eight people to actually get in the room and actually have a look at what the, what the area review is going to entail. Um, the asset challenge document, um, I think the reason for this document, why we actually um, brought it together, um, was really to assist the portfolio holder um, in actually engaging with yourselves and actually say, well, look, these are, the, these are the options that have been open to us, and these are the benefits, but literally the, pro, the pros and cons of those, um, those um, options available. But I think it will actually give you clarity as to what 
this if these boards be readily available for local councillors as soon as possible after the event. Thank you.
this person very much, very much agree with that, and as I said, we'd like the officers to that those, uh, you know, those points to the reports. Any further questions? Yeah, I, I may want the part of this presentation to be
Um, but as you say, working together as a team really is uh, vital uh, for Dave. Thank you for that question. Thanks. Is there any more questions? I think, I think Dave's point there about that it is a small team here on the way to the Jordan team, and I think it should be minuted that, that they, do, they do a fantastic job with such a small team and the revenue they bring in. Now, I'd, I'd like permission from the committee to make sure that I think all the comments that have been made from Steve, Dave, Chris, there on, on what was missed in New Brighton, um, but it's included in this report. Please. Are we all agreed on that? Agreed. And what I would also like then to ask the officers is to make sure when this report goes through to Cabinet, and I'm going to ask for a recommend, uh, an agreement on that recommendation in a second, that this committee all um, receive the, the addendum to the report so we know uh, the wording of what's gone through to the committee. Is that agreed? Agreed. Okay. So, yes, and Chucky's stayed there at the back, and I'd like to thank him. And again, yeah, time is marching on. And I did acknowledge, Chucky, that you've got a small department there. And it is a department of two. And, we, and again, dare I say, we cut the budget um, last year as, as, as needs must. And we do thank you. And we do thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I'd like to, and I'd like to thank the committee as well. This this started. It, it's two years ago now, when uh, I, I was actually in hospital and you chaired the meeting, Terry. So this has been an intense. <laughs> and uh, lo and behold, uh, tourism goes on the task and finish. Um, but it has been. A, it's been hard work from from your from your committee there, Terry. Well chaired by yourself, and there's a lot of good stuff come out of this again. So yet again. It's another piece of good work. Okay, just to commend the enthusiasm. I mean, thank you for that. The idea was, Jay, that you just took my compliments. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 Time is marching on, Jay. Time is marching on. Thanks, everyone. Thank you very much, Jay. So, do we agree, Committee, to send us to Cabinet? Yeah, good. What we agree. Thank you. Thank you all. Well, we've had the uh, Liverpool City Region update, so we come on to item 9, um, which is the, the, the scrutiny committee, the LCR scrutiny committee, which Anita and I both sit on. Um, which Anita and I both sit on. Now, we've just done an, an in-depth piece of work. It's been, it's, it has been a really good piece of work over the last few months, from before Christmas and then after Christmas, on apprenticeships. Committee's all aware that there's a levy coming in, any payroll over, is over 3 million, which includes this council, I might have. Um, now, we, the committee, we, we've done the work, we had um, business in to see how they, they handle apprenticeships, we had colleges in um, to tell us how what they're doing with regard to apprenticeships and how they're moving forward with regard to the levy. And we also had young apprentices in actually gone through the course and told us about their experiences. Now, that's as far as I can go, unfortunately, because we're meeting tomorrow to, to round it up and make our recommendations to the Liverpool City Region um, leaders. So, at our next meeting, I can, I can update you more and tell you what our recommendations actually are. But I feel, and I think Anita will agree, it, it's been an excellent piece of work it does feel as if it is worthwhile, and I'm hoping tomorrow 